In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I believe to be one of the better run defenses in Madden 21 right now. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. At my YouTube channel, I give you tips that you can use today to help you improve in Madden 21. And so if that's something that interests you, if you want to get better at the game, I want to encourage you to subscribe because I post four videos a day here on YouTube, and I also stream every single day night today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a run defense that i really think is going to help you stop the run a little bit uh better in madden 21 and we're going to be doing what i believe to be one of the better running sets uh right now and that is the strong eye type from the run heavy playbook so nickel 35 wide and i actually like to audible into this from the 335 because i get better personnel but for uh, the video purposes, we're just going to show this. And on the outside edges, you know, it doesn't really, really matter to me um, who you have where. Um, just know that, you know, I generally like to have safeties on my field. So I will oftentimes sub safeties in at linebacker. Anyways, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be talking about a specific run defense that you can use, um, and it comes from the, uh, you can run cover one contain, you can run cover one robber or cover two man, it, it's all the same really, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to come out and cover two man, and all we're going to do is we're going to spread our linebackers, we're going to press coverage, we're going to spy both of our safeties down, and then what I like to do with my outside guys my linebackers here is to help with the pass coverage i like to put them in purple zones now if you blitz them this will make the run defense even better now the one issue with blitzing them is you're going to have to cover the running backs out of the backfield so if the running backs go out on a pass um they're gonna they're gonna be wide open but as you see here you're just going to get in there with your user and basically what's going to happen is the formation when you spread your linebackers that is the critical thing that you need to do to stop the outside run now you're going to ask well how is this on the inside run well, the inside run, you're basically going to use your user, and I like to use someone like Kenny Clark that has the inside stuff ability to be able to make this a little bit more challenging to run inside. But as you can see, the safeties are going to come down, and you're going to get oftentimes pretty quick, um, pretty quick sheds on the inside runs. I'm not too worried about inside this year. The main thing that I'm trying to stop with my run defenses is a stretch. So you see here, you know, inside run pretty much taken care of. They're going to get one, maybe two yards. And they're not going to want to do that consistently. Let me show you like fullback slam, uh, fullback dive. I believe fullback dive is one of the best inside runs that you can have this year. Um, and you can crash your line down if you want to. But anyway, snap of the ball, what you're going to see here, fullback dive is going to be completely boxed. You're not going to be able to run fullback dive. What's really nice about the nickel 335 wide um, is that these – linemen right here are so close together that's very unique from a nickel formation and so what that allows you to do is really get in um into that inside run defense really easily um and here they are able to bust us sometimes with that run play right there one of the things that you want to do and this is just my personal opinion when you crash your line don't crash your line down there i crashed my line down you saw what happened if you crash your line to the side that you think they're going to run so if they're going to run to the right crash it right if they're going to run left crash left but i like to crash right here against the strong eye and what you'll see is a completely different um, movement. You see how it's going to open up these gaps for you to be basically be able to shoot that with your user. Now, if you guys haven't jumped in the Discord, be sure to do that. We've got a lot of guys sharing a lot of good ideas, good tips as well um, for stopping the run. But one last thing I did want to go over is a pass defense out of this for a – this is more of a passive run defense. It's not as good as if you blitz the linebackers. But it is very passive, but I think it's very effective. So all you're going to do is you're going to come out. And you're going to basically pinch your line. You're going to spread your linebackers. From there, you're going to take both of the safeties, and I like to put them in purple zones, or I'm sorry, um, spies. Defensive line, I'm going to crash them um, to either side, whichever side I think they're going to run still. And then what I'm going to do with the outside guys is I'm going to put them in purple zones. And then I'm going to actually man up the running backs with my linemen. So I'm only going to blitz one guy. This is straight up all out pass defense, okay? And what you're gonna see is this actually does okay against the run. You see, I can shoot the stretch gap still with the with my user, also have the safeties coming down. If they run inside, you're gonna see here that um, the inside run is gonna basically be squashed because these guys are manned up. The outside run is squashed because you have the purple zones. So if they run inside on you, like fullback slam type run, you're just gonna close in and you see here, it kind of holds the gap integrity because of the fact that the linemen are blocking. I find this year manning up 
your defensive lineman actually isn't that bad of a deal because they're going to get pushed back anyway. You're not going to get pushed on the defensive line this year. It's much, much more effective to just try to shoot the gaps. And what you'll see here, fullback dive. Again, I'm just shooting the gap right through here. And you see we're going to be able to blow that up as well. So to me, it's a fairly good pass defense because I'm pass committing. You're noticing I am pass committing when I do this. So um, spread your linebackers. And what's good about the pass commit is these outside guys. The issue with the stretch this year is it just – it's hard to get the contain. Well, when you put him in a purple zone, you're going to see that purple zones do okay at containing, and they allow you to shoot the gap. Now, if you miss a tackle, then they may get out of there, as you saw right there. But in general, I find this does a really decent job if you want to stay strong against the pass. Because I'm telling you right now, what people are going to do out of this formation is they're going to go to some type of PA tight end cross. And what you're going to see here is these routes right here are gonna be really, really hard to stop. So what you wanna do is spread your linebackers, spy your safeties, do the, do the zones like I said, and then you're gonna man these guys up against the running back, pass commit, that's critical. And what you're gonna see now is they're gonna fall out into these zones and they're not gonna be able to throw these balls um, very, very consistently, especially if you set your curl flat zone, curl flat zone drops to 20 to 25 yards. One other thing that I really like to do out of this um, you, like I said, you don't want to, um, you do not want to pinch. You want to spread your linebackers this year. But what you'll find is if you put purple zones out there on the field, they actually will be just fine, and you're going to be able to contain one of the best runs in the game. You're going to be able to shoot the gap against the uh, the strong eye stretch. Um, so anyways, guys, that to me is one of the better run defenses right now. wanted to share that with you really quickly. Ran up against a guy today that literally ran – I mean, he ran on me like crazy, and I figured out it was literally one little adjustment I needed to do in the second half to stop his run. All I needed to do was spread the linebackers, and um, it's such a little tweak to this nickel 35 wide defense, but it's such a massive, massive deal, especially with the way that the stretch works this year. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Again, this is you know the best run defense that I've found so far, and it comes from a nickel formation. It's also in our defensive ebook. If you haven't got the ebook yet, we do a couple of other things to stop the run on the goal line in the ebook. You can pick that up. It's in the description. If you guys really want to take your game to the next level, you can jump into a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. There's a link in the description that you can sign up for that. Those have been going really, really well. Everybody that's had one has walked away with just a wealth of information a wealth of uh, understanding about the little fine point details that is hard to explain in just some uh, YouTube video or ebook. So be sure to check those out. Text me if you have any questions. My number is 812-216-3644. We'll see you tonight on stream after the Sunday night football game or the Monday night football game. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you guys tonight.